come to the Tate and Lyle sugar refinery in London. For centuries, raw sugar has been coming into the Thames in huge quantities to be refined in factories like this. In the raw sugar shed, over 60,000 tons of raw cane sugar stands ready for processing. Outside is Tate and Lyle's own dock. In years gone by, this was crowded with boats from countries like Brazil and Australia and India, queuing up to offload their cargo. The European Union is the biggest drag on the competitiveness of our business. And what precisely are they doing, which is the problem? Well, you can see behind me on the jetty today that there's no boat here with raw sugar, and that's precisely our problem. Um, the boats that deliver our raw sugar here to London, the, the sugar on them, uh, the cost of that is inflated by the fact that Euro the European Union restricts who we can buy that sugar from, and on much of the sugar they also charge us import tariffs. When inefficient European beet sugar producers asked the EU for protective barriers against cane sugar producers around the world, it was a blow to refiners like Tate and Lyle. On some of the boats of sugar that we bring in, we can be paying anywhere between two to three and a half million euros in extra costs because of the European policies. As costs have risen, so has the price of sugar for consumers, while Tate and Lyle's turnover and profits have been hit. It threatens the 850 jobs here in East London, and it's meant that we've had to downsize the refinery by about 50% since 2009. How strong is the feeling against the EU at the moment here? Walk around the refinery, talk to the people here. They absolutely know that no matter how hard they work, no matter how productive they are, the regulations that the European Union set can still crush us. Protecting inefficient producers ends up dragging down good producers. Whereas up till 2009, we were exporting 300,000 tonnes of sugar because the European regulations have made us uncompetitive. Not only have we stopped exporting that sugar, but we also now face around 250,000 tonnes of imports into the UK to compete with as well. So it's a double whammy, if you like. And we estimate that probably costs the UK economy something like 80 to 90 million euros a year, just for this one factory.